हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज भूपेश तो टुडे एज वी सी वी आर ऑफ द वीक एंड तो विल बी क्रिएटिंग अनदर न्यू सेशन टू गे टुडे ऑन ग्रफाना अलॉय नाउ व्हाट इज दिस ग्रफाना अलॉय वी हैव बीन हियरिंग दैट यू नो ग्रफाना एजेंट इज डिप्रिकेटेड एंड दिस ग्रफाना एजेंट फॉर कलेक्टिंग मेट्रिक फ्लॉक्स एंड ट्रेसेस विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय ग्रफाना अलॉय सो आई हैव बीन यू नो गेटिंग मल्टीपल रिक्वेस्ट दैट प्लीज and it's a session on grafana alloy so today's first session and we'll be doing a lot of sessions on grafana alloy how to install in linux how to install in kubernetes and docker this environment how to collect matrices from that uh, grafana alloy agent so if you really want to understand what has been changed from the previous thing so you see the uh, the middle section so left hand side you have uh, the applications running on either on any format is it box vm windows box linux box or kubernetes so middle section was here earlier uh, grafana agent and grafana agent has now been uh, you know replaced with uh, grafana alloy uh, which will actually so i was talking about uh, this middle agent so earlier it was a grafana agent now grafana agent has been replicated and it will be uh, you know completely uh, removed from the support from 2025 so before that let's completely migrate all our uh, you know application observability using grafana alloy which is which is vendor agnostic and open telemetry based agent and uh, we'll see we'll see in a greater detail how it works everything is almost same with some minor changes so what we'll be doing today we'll be installing a grafana alloy agent onto the ubuntu machine and we will migrate all the prometheus configuration to alloy so what what will be taking care first of all uh, you know we have a prometheus configuration which is capturing the data from the your uh, ubuntu machine and sending the matrices to grafana or you know grafana is uh, added as a data i mean prometheus is added as a data source in grafana and then we'll migrate that configuration finally we will restart alloy and then we'll see all the matrices are properly uh, coming to prometheus and grafana okay just to cut short uh, we have a github page uh, for this you can simply come here and uh, get all the working session of this grafana alloy how to migrate how to copy paste everything uh, you know sample configuration is also pasted for you okay so let's get started so before we start the implementation session please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel so that you can get plenty of sessions and videos pertaining to grafana grafana uh, elastic search cube and it is cloud and so on it's all about devops So let's get started quickly without wasting any further time. Okay, so let me follow this. Uh, you know the GitHub page that I was talking about. So Grafana Alloy is nothing but a, a small description, and you can follow the latest, uh, you know, documentation from this official Grafana page. So nothing is rocket science. You can simply follow this documentation by your own also, and then simply understand what is Grafana Alloy. Just to make it easier, I put everything into single page. Now suppose your application is running on this Ubuntu machine, and I want to install and configure Grafana Alloy here. So I will just run these set commands and make sure that my Grafana Alloy is installed here properly. So since it is already installed on my machine, if I really you know go and install this piece, it will just say simply you know already there. The Grafana is already the newest version, so don't need to need any upgrade. So run these commands and get the Grafana uh, Alloy finally installed on this. now we will simply uh, you know configure alloy so alloy generally get to this directory etc and then alloy folder whenever you install it so this is the configuration directory uh, configuration file that gets created so so you can simply reload this it is reloaded and i'll see i'll just start the alloy let's see if alloy is already started or not and then it is the So it is already running. So this is the default configuration. We'll we'll come on to that how to integrate this uh, Grafana Alloy agent and send the data to Prometheus using this. So I'll see there are no errors in this. Yeah, there are no errors. Perfect. So let's migrate your Prometheus to Grafana Alloy. So what is this migration? So suppose what I'm saying today, there is no communication between Grafana Alloy and Prometheus. You know, but I have a Prometheus up and running, 
and this Prometheus serving this configuration. You know that how Prometheus works. So this Prometheus is running and capturing data from uh, 9090 port within this machine. So it, Prometheus is monitoring, you know, Prometheus. If you have, you have heard my previous session, so this is the Prometheus monitoring. It is second. So Prometheus is also monitored on this metric endpoint. So these are all the metrics that are going to uh, Prometheus by default. So this is the configuration. Now I want to modify this configuration and this is acting as an agent and then sending data to Prometheus. Now I want to do everything uh, using Grafana Lawyer. Very basic info, you know, uh, migration I want to do. I want to read all the 9090 backslash matrix matrices data, not from Prometheus, but from Grafana Alloy. Okay. And you can simply, if you really want to understand more, you can simply say uh, Grafana Alloy and want to the migration, please. Okay. Just migrate setup and then uh, migrate. Okay. And then we are doing actually this session today. Migrate from Grafana Alloy. Right. Okay. Let me cancel this. So you need to run one command. Okay. To fully migrate your configuration from Prometheus to Alloy, you must convert your Prometheus configuration to Alloy configuration. This conversion when enabled you to full advantage of blah 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 all these things. So this is the command that you need to run. Okay, alloy is a binary that I've already installed, and this is the uh, the full path of your Prometheus configuration, and then output would be the where you want to get the alloy configuration converted. Okay, so let me copy paste this command. Then this is the command I'm going to run it. So this is the Prometheus configuration file which I am already there. If you see, I'm so sorry. Ls if here. So suppose let me deliberately do some errors because unless you do some error, it will not you will not understand what's happening. So there are certain alloy doesn't understand. Suppose I am doing this evaluation interval. Okay, this is the uh, default configuration of your uh, Prometheus. Now I'll run this command. Okay, alloy convert. It will convert my. It will store that converted uh, configuration here. TMP alloy and config alloy. Okay, let me run this command. Okay, so it has failed, and it is saying evaluation interval is not found in config dot plane. So we will just simply go and you know comment this because alloy doesn't work when we have these kind of alerting and all these things. It's in only especially in the case of migration when you're migrating the configuration. So I'll run the same command again. Perfect. Now this has been converted and the alloy config file is being saved. You can actually man manually write that file also, but just to sake of making understanding, suppose you have a big Prometheus configuration file, how to convert that file. So you can come here. And then see this is the configuration file that has been generated. Now you need to understand this file, you know, very, you know, uh, understand you know, very slowly. So what I'm saying, I'm saying this is my script configuration from which is endpoint, which is running on 1990 and backslash matrices are the matrices. Please capture all those matrices. These are the targets and then forward it to Prometheus remote write default receiver, which is currently not there, but I will configure that default receiver in my alloy configuration. And this is the job name. Very simple. Now, right? So this is the configuration that has been converted with this small Prometheus configuration file. Now you need to copy paste this file which is generated in temp. So this currently this is in temp, okay? And there's already a file in etc alloy. So this is the main file which is being looked up by the alloy bind binary, not this one. So we need to copy paste this file to this file. Now before copy pasting, I'll I have done certain modifications. Okay, so you I will show those modifications. So this is modification I have done. So this is the same snippet that you have just seen, that from uh, 1990 and uh, job Prometheus it will scrape all the matrices. Now I have another uh, you know infra infra endpoint which is in a node exporter. So. Yeah, so node exporter is also running onto the same Ubuntu box. I want to capture the matrices from node exporter also, which is an additional scraping interval, scraping endpoint. So what I'm saying, please scrape this node exporter 
which is running on port number 9100 with the name node exporter and send that thing as a remote write to this. Now, how Alloy will understand what is the remote write. Now, you see there's another remote write snippet that is being there below on the default section. And what is the endpoint for this? The endpoint for this remote write is this is just the name Prometheus on prem. And then this is the URL that please send these two scrape scraping endpoints or scraping data to this uh, local of 1980 API v1 write which has a remote write already enabled and this is a certain other configuration queuing config and metadata config so this is the overall uh, grafana alloy configuration so first scraping scraping endpoint second scraping endpoint this is the destination where i want to send everything right so this is what you also you will also see into the grafana documentation if you really want to understand in a greater detail so let me get back to here what i have written copy the contents of config.alloy configuration from this report to your environment etc alloy and then restart alloy agent that's it so now this is my so what i will do i'll just copy the content from here like this control a control c and then i'll go to my actual location which is the etc alloy right and i'll see uh, this is the and i i'll do a sudo vim config alloy and then i'll come here and then i'll paste that same content which is there perfect so first script in, uh, endpoint second script internet is writing to this default and in place of uh, my uh, localhost i can give ip also and if it is a secure then i can give username and password also if it is a grafana cloud then you can give the entire url and with the basic auth so don't get worried with its localhost you can simply replace it with any any ip or or with secure location but you need to do a change here now you have done that change let me restart your alloy okay so this is the important piece that now alloy should pick up uh, the configuration from this file okay okay so this has been restarted i'll say i'll see the uh, general ctl is nothing but to check the live log of that service so general ctl minus u service name and minus f is a live log i'll just done it and then i'll see it is listening traffic there are no errors you know so it is coming nicely now so now i'll open my prometheus first which is running on uh, port number 1990 okay and then i'll run my magic query to set to get the distinct matrices for job okay so i'll get the same data hopefully yes do you see prometheus is the first scraping interval and node export is the second scraping interval and again i i want to see it the same thing on your grafana i'll come here explore uh, what do we prometheus see these two data endpoints are coming now there's one question that come that can come to your mind hey Bupesh, why i can get the same matrices from prometheus uh, itself export then what is something new from Grafana Alloy? Let me show you the Prometheus itself, uh, you know. So we have a Prometheus also running, Prometheus as a service. So you see, I am just scraping your Prometheus endpoint. I am not scraping anything node exporter. Okay. And even uh, it is nowhere coming. So it is actually Alloy who is reading uh node exporter endpoint as well as prometheus endpoint so you can see prometheus endpoint is read by prometheus binary as well as the alloy binary but node exporter endpoint is only read by alloy binary and which is sending data to your prometheus which in turn is coming as a coming in grafana why because prometheus is added as a data source i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so and let's see whether we have a node exporter dashboard if not let's quickly import that dashboard uh, I think we have it. Just yes, node export the full. Okay. And if if you do not know how to import the node exporter dashboards, I think you can import it from here. It's a one four eight zero. It's a node exporter one, I guess. Yes, this is the name of the dashboard. And you can change the UID. Give some other name. Just to... let me see. Perfect. So node exporter dashboard has been imported. So again, I'll go a little bit slow. This is the first session of Grafana Alloy. So understand it. Thoroughly. Next step would be installing Alloy on Docker, and then next will be on Kubernetes. So, what we did first of all, we installed Alloy agent onto our machine. 
then we run the alloy configure the service everything with the default configuration right then then we migrated our prometheus configuration which is already there on my ubuntu machine if you don't have a prometheus configuration you can ignore this port step you can simply come to this copy paste this config.alloy which i have given and then paste it to your etc alloy but to understand how the migration works you can simply run this command alloy convert this is the source format and uh, source format is option is prometheus if you have a grafana agent then you can change the source format to grafana agent or something else right how you can check this so it is again very easy so you can say uh oh, come on so, so suppose i'm talking about alloy help so you can do like this okay alloy help and then convert help and try to see what are the options so you can see uh, i have source format okay now we have what are the four format options we have hotel call prometheus prompt elastic static so these are the format that you can run so i have run the prometheus thing today okay and then uh, once we converted the alloy configuration to etc alloy then uh, you know restart alloy and see the logs and finally if your alloy is working fine then check the metrics on prometheus and grafana using alloy so that is uh, pretty much and uh, that's pretty much so if you have any doubts and queries uh, please uh, put those doubts into the comment section because this is again a very very important session and i'm telling you this will be a revolution because grafana alloy is getting popular and it will wipe out your grafana agent in 2025 so better not to react late let's start converting your local or you know mine uh, lower environments from grafana agent or prometheus or something else to grafana alloy so hope you like this video if you have any questions pertaining to this please put down into the comment section i'll be happy to answer it if i'm not then i'll take some time to you know prepare those sessions have a great week ahead since all the sessions are created over the weekend so if you have anything just put me into the comment section i'll try to help and next sessions are again uh, will be help will be really important on docker kubernetes and and so on on grafana alloy only stay tuned till then and yeah last but not the least do not forget to like and subscribe the channel as we have plenty of videos and sessions and playlists on the same channel good luck see you next time Thank